Good evening. Welcome out to Convoy, where the Crestview Lady Knights and Parkway Lady Panthers battle on the hardwood this evening. And a big test for Crestview. State-ranked Parkway at 8-0 entering played tonight a non-conference battle while Crestview two and four on the year but a very very tough schedule to start the beginning of the 2022 volleyball campaign hi everybody Garrett Mansfield alongside John Dornick John got a good matchup in front of us one of these local non-conference games that gets to happen each and every year it's been a good battle the last many years and Two programs that have had a lot of success recently getting together to see where they are where they are at right now and where they're going in 2022. I hope people don't just stop and uh, look at the records here now tonight, Garrett, because uh, they're very deceiving. Crestview started off playing number one team in the state. They didn't start off that way, but they have played the number one team in the state and uh, played a lot of other ranked teams. So that two and four record, uh, they haven't got into the conference record with the Northwest Conference. So basically it, it's a matchup of two very good programs, two very good teams, one from the Northwest Conference, one from the uh, Mighty Mac. So uh, uh, teams are uh, basically uh, similar. Um, each of them run a 5-1 offense. Um, sometimes Parkway will stick in a second setter, but uh, talking to uh, Coach Gregory here earlier in the, in the week here, her focus this week was on consistency and mental toughness. And uh, they switched, they were into a 5-2. They decided things weren't going as well as they would like, so they went back to a 5-1 offense. Um, Parkway, they're just uh, playing through a couple of injuries. They had a girl uh, get hurt. Uh, Allison Hughes was uh, hurt. She's uh, probably back for tonight's match. Um, Parkway's got a lot of experience, a lot of three and four year starters. So we're gonna see how this matches up tonight here. So it should be a great one. Yeah, it should be a very, very good test. Crestview is always a lot of multi-sport athletes, very, very talented, good size, both sides of the ball as well. And in Parkway, as, you, as we mentioned, they're on a roll to begin the year, 8-0. We have some good high-flying volleyball to come at you here in a matter of minutes. We'll step out, come on back, and get this match started here on the West Ohio Sports Network. Hi and welcome again to Crestview. Lady Knights, Lady Panthers from Parkway sent to Tangle here on a non-conference battle. Here at Mansfield with John Dornick with you here this evening. Megan Sherrick, Lexi Waddle, the rest of the crew here from WOSN. Crestview in the red, it'll be Parkway in the all black look tonight. Let's take a look at the starters for Crestview, the home team. There's some experience, but there is a lot of underclassmen in the starting lineup. Callie Gregory, Maya Etzler, both juniors for the Lady Knights. Maya Etzler, uh, Lacey McCoy is the lone senior in the starting lineup. Nevaeh Ross is a sophomore. She wears number six. Adeline Figley and Kennedy Kreider are both sophomores. Haley McCoy, a freshman in there for Crestview. And for Parkway, take a look at their lineup. Starting with the seniors, number 14, Macy Johnson and Gabriella Stober. Megan Hinkle in there, number two as the Libro, Emery Niddle. And Britton Bruns is a freshman and fellow freshman, Emery Temple, 30 and 32 in the starting lineup for Parkway. So, you know, John, we, we look at two teams with good experience, but young faces out there once more for two really good teams. I guess that's what they just keep bringing them in. Our opening serve done by Ellie Clyde, a lib Libra for the Lady Knights. Maya Etzler keeps that one up in the air. Figley sends it over top of the net for Crestview. Here's the setup for Temple, just drops it down over top for Parkway. Another setup and a big block up front for Parkway and the first whistle goes to the Panthers. Two hits up front for the Lady Knights. Let's see how uh, both these teams adjust to the refereeing style tonight here. Got good referees tonight though. Steve Trout will be the R1. Bruns with the serve for Parkway. And almost mishandled it right there, but stays alive. Lacey McCoy, they're gonna set up. Big attack for Maya Etzler. From right in the center of the, of the net, goes to the right side and finds some space there. 
Crestview evens it up. Looks like Callie Gregory's going to try to go. She's got uh, Maya Etzler in the middle here. She's big, strong, and can move the ball around the floor. Serve met by Meg Hinkle, and a block up front again for Crestview. Back-to-back -back scores for the Knights. They had the pregame two and four start for Crestview, but I mean, this has been their schedule. They've had number one New Bremen on the schedule, Division Three Archbold, and Division Three Coldwater, a top 10 team in Division Three. Jeff Ball almost falls in. Those were three consecutive losses, pancaked around wins against Green Meadows Conference teams, Paulding and Antwerp, and then a loss last week to Wayne Trace, a team that was undefeated until we saw them on Saturday. And consecutive division, or excuse me, consecutive state-ranked teams on the schedule tonight with Parkway, and then the Northwest Conference opener tomorrow against Lipsick, number five in D4. Parkway finding some rhythm back-to-back -back scores. Maya Etzler pulled that ball down the line just a little bit wide. We've got Maddie Jacobs serving. She came in for uh, Emory Temple there at the last dead ball. Nice little push over top by Kelly Gregory and a miss hit with Ellie Pritchard and Bruns getting close together. We get a change in the Parkway lineup. Temple goes back onto the floor and then rotates out with the Libra Hinkle back in. Service here for Crestview will be Josie Kowicki. Serve is good. Met by Macy Johnson. Here goes the on the attack. Stober, not a whole lot you can do about that. First team all MAC a season ago. Second teamer as a sophomore. And dropping back to serve here for Parkway by far and away leading their attacks early in the year. Gabrielle has 105 kills already this year. Make that 106 now. Lacey McCoy, a little too strong on the strike for the Lady Knights. So Stober will continue to serve it up for Parkway. Jump serve, good low line drive and just angled off of the forearm of Kulwicki. A lot of English there. Parkway's had 308 aces already this year, so Ooh. that just adds to the list. Must be a strong Ooh. serving team. Good leverage from Stover on the serve, and McCoy almost dropped one down there for Parkway, or excuse me, for Crestview, but that attack from em em Emery Niddle, a little wide. Crestview back with the serve, and they'll bring Nevaeh Ross back onto the court to serve, giving way for Haley McCoy. Looks like Stober, since she's uh, in the back row now, will be a setter. And she does just that, setting up Johnson. And almost got that one to fall down. It, it was out of the boundary, but tipped near the net, giving Parkway the points, and Niddle will drop back to serve senior. Into the back row for Parkway. More changes for Crestview after the points continue to go back and forth. First set here at Crestview. In the air for Parkway. And Callie Gregory, look at that little jump set that she fooled half the Parkway group. Able to drop that right down in front of the junior. Well, they'll also serve. Also helps when you're 5'10", you can jump <laughs> up there and uh, Take the ball over pretty easy. Tipped over by Johnson and just about the length of the, the volleyball beyond the back line. That's one thing, John, you can tell immediately when you see these two teams, good size up front and they all contribute. Underhand set for Gregory and tipped away near the Parkway bench and they keep it alive. Niddle, great chase down and Johnson bumped it over the top on the third hit. Big swing for Annalyn Figley, and that's good for the Crestview score. And one of the, num the numbers that stick out for Crestview, John, is they have three attackers that are all, actually four attackers that are over 50 kills. They spread it around. And this one's gonna get deflected into the Parkway seating as Crestview takes their, takes the lead back. It's kind of like their basketball team. They really spread it around, and there's several members of that group on the floor right now for the Crestview Lady Knights. And how about that? Emery Niddle 
pulled back late, let that ball sail right past her and out of bounds, giving Parkway the serve again, and we're locked up at eight. I think all the girls from Crestview uh, thought there might have been a little bit of a touch there, and no touch from the R1, no touch from the line judge, so we'll play here with Parkway serving. And it's May Hinkle to send it up. It's Figley with the try, and dug out by Parkway. Now a long strike. Britton Bruns, a little too strong. Well, we hit on Crestview's beginning of the season, and now Parkway, 8-0, 2-0 through Mac play early. Here's Johnson with the attack, blocked up front, kept alive by Lacey McCoy. And a Maya Etzler bump over the top, but that must have been the third, giving Parkway the serve again. Wins over Fort Recovery and Minster already in league play. But they have a big one on the schedule coming up later in the week for sales, number three in Division Three for Parkway. Etzler with a little tap over top of the, the netting, and Crestview grabs a score there. John, you look at the Parkway program over the years, they don't have any problem getting the double-digit wins every season. However, you look at their, mat, their uh, record in conference because of just how talented of a conference in volleyball it is, as Crestview gets a big block up front from Maya Etzler. That's where the disparity kind of lies. Three and six, one and seven, one and eight the last three years in the MAC. But arguably, and I don't even know if it's much of an argument, but the MAC could very easily, we say it's so good in so many other sports, one of the best volleyball conferences in the entire state of Ohio, and maybe even the Great Lakes. I uh, don't disagree with you there, Garrett. Uh, arguably the best Division IV conference in the state of Ohio. There's a set for Gregory, and Etzler a little too early on the downward motion, so that brings us to 11-11. I tell you, even a 2-4, and four, they don't look like a 2-4 and four team the way they handle mm -hmm. themselves on the floor. Back set going in a direction for Figley. And the same result as what happened on the last play. Timing just a little bit off there. Doesn't hurt. Britton Bruns puts up a pretty nice serve. And there we go. Gregory just dropped it over. Here's the attack from Stober. Kind of had that pass behind her, but she still made it the adjustment in midair. They're going to center up again. Nope, goes the other direction for Emory Temple. It's met alive up front. And that's going to be deflected off of Bruns going out of bounds. And Callie Gregory with the big hit. You know, one thing about both these teams, they've got great Libros. These little girls handle the ball anywhere on the floor. Sophomore Adeline Figley with the serve. Received by Hinkle. They're going to set up Stober. And man, just beyond the back line. She hits it hard. One of those rising players through this Parkway program that's really grown up as the program has gotten successful. Or at least the recent success, should say. Knocked down up front, Parkway getting it done. Gabrielle Stover, she doesn't get cheated out of her swing. She takes a nice swing, gets a good approach. Real good. Maddie Jacobs in the lineup now, she'll serve. Jacobs. Sends it up over. There's the attack for Etzler. Dug out by Parkway. And now Etzler taps it up over the top. Nice dig by Bruns. And Gregory trying to fool him again. And that time the net got the better end of that play for Parkway. You always tell the girls to run through the ball when they're passing it. And Britton Bruns, she did a nice job on that play. Tracked down by Ellie Klein. Gregory sends it over the net. Bruns sets up Stober. Big time attack just as they draw it up. Looks like they're moving uh, Gabrielle Stover all across the net there. Different positions uh, trying to keep her away from the double block and keep her out of the way from the big block in the middle. Yeah, that's such a nice weapon to have. Someone as versatile play up front and in the back. 
Another southpaw serve for Maddie Jacobs. And Maya Adsler with the big, big hit. And we got a whistle near the net. A couple of hits up front by Britton Bruns. Kids are going to have to learn to get their bodies in a good position to pass the ball. Now here, Parkway, a couple of changes in the lineup. Bruns and Jacobs go off the floor. Crestview's Josie Kowicki to serve. Hit by Macy Johnson, set for Stober. Deflected off of Haley McCoy and it went down to the floor. Both these teams are blessed with good coaches, uh, starting off with Crestview's Tammy Gregory and Christy, uh, Christy Bagley and Rachel Alvarez. Been with the program a very long time. There's another score. Lacey McCoy tried to just dink that ball over the top. Was uh, blocked right back at down to the floor for a point. And timeout taken by Crestview. We'll take it too. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Crestview trailing Parkway in the first set here tonight. 17-14, Parkway still holding it with the serve, Gabrielle Stoberg. Jump serve and off the fingertips of Haley McCoy, but the Lady Knights able to get that up over top, send it, continue the volley. And Macy Johnson just pops it right down in front of a couple defenders for Crossview. That's the smart uh, volleyball IQ of Macy Johnson there. She saw the double block and she just put it over in the corner for a point. And Stober with the serve. Gregory passing back for Ellie Clyde. There's another big swing up in the front. Ellie Pritchard gets that one to go down for Parkway. Crestview set up a nice double block on that. They just didn't press over the net and the ball ended up on their side of the floor. Panthers finding rhythm here. They inch towards a set one a win. But Lacey McCoy, other thoughts. Gets a deflection and a, the serve back for Crestview. Britton Bruns and Megan Hinkle just uh, crossing paths in the back and uh, just that was a good spike, even though the defense was in good position. Nevaeh Ross serve is good. Basie Johnson set up and big block up front. McCoy and Gregory were there. And we have double hit in the back row off of Crestview. Parkway is the first to 20 in this first set. Emery Niddle will drop back to serve for the Lady Panthers. And oh, McCoy, good play on the deflection off of Figley. And Johnson goes strong that time. Wow, both of Parkway's middles are getting some nice swings. Macy Johnson, Gabrielle Stover, they're getting the ball, they're making good passes, and they're getting some nice swings. And another Crestview timeout. Their second of this set. And we will step out also. High School Volleyball is right here on WOSN. We'll be back after this. First set, first set nearing a close here at Crestview. Parkway's Emery Niddle sets in. And then Crestview responds after the timeout. Looks, it's always a well-timed in the hindsight, isn't it, John? When you call a timeout, you get the points immediately afterwards. Makes us coaches look like we're <laughs> uh, real smart people here. But uh, I tell you what, Lacey McCoy put that on the floor. And Callie Gregory a little strong with the serve. And goes back to Parkway. If you can hit the ball like Lacey McCoy, that's what makes coaches look smart. Bag Hinkle will serve. Dug out by Adeline Figley, and she gets set up there. Dug out by Stover. Runs, taps it over the top. 
Now McCoy got a deflection and sent down to the hardwood. Crestview showing fight here. Not letting Parkway extend the lead beyond a handful of points. To use a claw back. That's what Coach Gregory was talking about, that mental toughness they need when they get behind that they can still fight back. There is double hit on the set try for Gabrielle Stober. So Lacey McCoy will do it once more for the Lady Knights. Low line drive into the net. Parkway with a gimme. And two away from taking the set one. So Johnson, the senior, into the air and near that back corner, nicely received by Ellie Klein. And a big time hit for Adeline Figley, but could not keep it within the red rectangle. Set point coming up for Parkway. It's Macy Johnson continues to serve. Been a while since Parkway has lost a set during this eight game winning streak to begin the 2022 season. And a double hit right there will give them the first set. Parkway, 25-18 through tonight's opening set. We'll take a break and when we come back, we'll re-rack them and do it again as you're watching High School Volleyball from Crestview on WOSN. Set number two, ready to get started at Crestview. Parkway took the first 25-18 here at Mansfield with John Dornick tonight. Pleasure to bring you the action this evening. And Parkway looking to pick up where they left off. Macy Johnson to serve. She is second on the team with 11 aces and just happens to hit that one right in the net. Just when I try to play her up a little bit. Well, even off off air during the breaks. Impressed how, how well both teams served there in that first set. And now Ellie Klein will do the honors for Crestview. That one's over. Johnson meets it. Set up for Stober. And a hit kept up. Here's Gregory for Etzler. And a big kill near the back line. Crestview, a 2-0 start to set two. She didn't hit the ball right down the middle of the floor. She put it in the corner, kind of where it's a hard ball to play. Klein with the good serve again. Bruns taps it over. Gregory with the set. Big swing by Figley. Dug out by Parkway, and then we got player in the net for Parkway, or for uh, Crestview, excuse me. Looks like Adeline Figley was in the net on that time, according to our R2. Britton Bruns to give the jump serve. Gregory, Figley again. Dug out by Johnson, but over top of the net. And that causes a Crestview mistake up front. Double hit. Now we're all even in the second set. Klein dig digs it out. Set up there and off the roof. The Parkway adjusts. Johnson with a big hit. Deflected back towards the wall and will go out off of Crestview. So three straight for Parkway after Crestview got the first couple of scores during this second set. Macy Johnson had a great back row attack on that. She took off from behind the three meter line and put it down on the floor in the back right corner. Etzler, cross court try, too wide. That was a good shot there. Just put it a little wide. She'll keep swinging on that and get those in. Right here's Bruns. Gregory to Figley, and that might have got touched up front. Nope, gonna be straight on out. May not have seen a change of trajectory. It's usually a telltale sign of any kind of touch, and Bruns, and it's just serving five times in a row, might have run out of steam. A nice run there for yep. Britain. Helps put Parkway a fifth of the way there in the second set, but Crestview within a couple. Bigley's serve is good. Bruns with the set for Stober instead of a stutter step. Isn't able to go with the power, so Etzler does that when she's set up for Crestview. And Gregory with the just push over the top of the net. 
attack for Emory Temple. Etzler kept alive by Johnson, and it's hit up underneath the tape. Britton Bruns couldn't keep that reined in. Well, Good back and forth. I think Coach Tammy Gregory uh, made a good decision to go back to the 5-1 offense and let Callie Gregory do all the setting. Deflected off of Emory Niddle, and it goes into the stands behind us. Five all here in the second set. And Adeline Figley will serve again. Meg Hankel greets it. Now Stober with a big strike. Gregory in a low set. It's going to be four hits on Crestview. I don't think she got that the way she would have intended. And in and out. Maddie Jacobs coming in for uh, Emory Temple here just to serve, and then I think Emory usually has been coming right back in. Ellie Pritchard also in on the change of the lineup for Parkway. Maya Etzler dug out by Macy Johnson. Now she's going to go from the back, and a big block up front by Haley McCoy. The sophomore with, or make that the freshman with a big stuff in a play in the front. Boy, that was nice. That was a nice hit, and uh, she read that very well and just put it right back down. Nice block. Now your sophomore, Josie Kulwicki. Crestview. Very youthful. Going to be a force in the winter time for sure. And as that one went off, we'll go to Parkway. Basketball team that went 21 and 5 this past year. Gabrielle Stover getting the ball all over the front row there, Garrett. And here she serves. Callie Gregory sets up Lacey McCoy. And they're going to go to Pritchard. Bad set for Crestview. So Stober back again with the Panthers up by a pair. Dug out there by Ellie Klein. Lacey McCoy Boy, with authority. She put that down with authority, you're right. That's one of those things for Crestview Watching them right now first for a, a set and a quarter. It's pretty evident that they have a lot of different options to attack and a rotation violation on Parkway and a freebie to the Knights. We're all leaving at eight apiece. Davea Ross with a good clean serve. Received by Bruns. Set up for Johnson. And the big swing deflected away. Macy Johnson's been a force in the front row and the back row. Here's Emory Niddle to serve while Crossview makes their changes. Gets this defense right. They set themselves up to receive the Niddle serve. Here she goes. And McCoy push it over the net. This is happening regularly. One of those where seems to be called pretty tight, but it's one of those reoccurring themes right now for Crestview. It's called pretty tight, Garrett, but you see none of the coaches are uh, complaining because it's been called tight and consistent. There's Kennedy Kreider. Gets one to land for Crestview. Mr. Trout's one of the better uh, R1s, R2s in the state of Ohio. Callie Gregory, jump serve for the Knights. Stover sets up for Johnson, and Crestview keeps it going. Kreider sends this one towards the back row, and Niddle wisely lets it fall outside the boundary. Emory Niddle was in great defensive position there, so that wasn't too hard for her to let that ball go off the back line. So Meg Hinkle will do the serve. And off the fingertips of Adeline Figley. Tough serve there, tough serve by Meg Hinkle. Be rewarded with another. Ball goes in the air for Parkway. Gregory to McCoy, yes, and Crestview. 
a much needed response. Looks like Crestview was in a three-person serve-receive uh, position that time, so a lot of times if they can get the ball in the gaps there, it's hard to return. Oh. Lacey McCoy to serve. That's a little too strong. And Crestview. Playing it right there with Parkway right now and a serve by Macy Johnson into the net. Keeps it a two score game. Yeah, look just recently, Coldwater, one of the top teams in Division Three early on in the season. One of the recent opponents for Crestview and they took them five sets and it was on the road. Here's Callie Gregory blocked up front. Stober would not let that one pass. Callie Gregory uh, is one of the top hitters for Crestview with 45 kills already this year. The short serve for Britton Bruns. Really good, a competitive set number two. We are flying along. Adeline Figley's serve is successful, and how about that for Gabrielle Stober? Get those big paws to slam that ball down. Both teams are passing the ball pretty good, and uh, once they get the ball up to the setter, a lot of these big hitters are getting some good swings at the ball. Maddie Jacobs with a left-handed send. A little strong, but Ellie Klein plays it. Maya Etzler. And we have a whistle against Parkway. Two hits that side that time. And Maddie Jacobs and Emory Temple will swap places. And then that triple switch with May Hinkle. Liebrecht staying on the floor. And Crestview. Trying to get on the same page here as Josie Kolwicki will come in to serve. Tapping out Maya Etzler. Looks like there might have been some kind of issue over there at the scorer's table. Our R2 looked and got a lineup sheet there and uh, made sure everything was mm -hmm. kosher. So here goes the Kowicki serve. Johnson receives. Set up Bruns and a big old hit for Stober. That was a great set by Brittany Bruns there. The ball was just a little bit uh, in front of her and she still got her hands in position, set the ball beautifully for the kill. Really good passing tonight for Parkway. They are up three, and oh, a very a sinking serve. And a whistle will give Parkway a point. The Libro cannot attack the ball from anywhere on the floor if part of the ball is above the top of the net. That's what the call is right there. Resident rules analyst right here, John Dornick. Done it so many years so well. Making sure we have it all straight up here. No explanation needed on that one for Crestview to get it back. Deflection out of bounds and onto the floor for the Lady Knights to get some scoring. Still a tight contest, 17-14 in set two. And a wide serve off the hands of Nevaeh Ross. Looks Haley. like a nice curve ball there. That ball had some side spin on it. Looks like something that she has worked on, just not quite there with the execution. So 18-14. And Gregory, look at that. Not only short, but also kind of in a, in a no-look territory for her. Callie Gregory, nicely done. Wipes out the previous one allowed. Parkway, uh, I think, lost track of uh Callie Gregory being a front row player. Johnson bats it toward the back row. Klein. And that one's in the direction for Figley and Cressu keeps it going. Klein has to get out of the way. Bumped over by Kowicki. Stober to Johnson, big block for Crestview. Now Stober just taps it over the top and that causes problems for the Knights. 
another player with a high volleyball IQ. She saw that instead of taking, uh, making the set on two hits, took it over for a point. The finesse and the power for Parkway. 19-15, set two, we'll step out with a timeout on the floor on WOSN. Parkway with a four-point advantage in set two. Off the top of the net, the serve by Meg Hankel. Figley's swing is dug out for Parkway. A little behind Macy Johnson there. Crestview could get the combination on that attempt, so Parkway the first to 20 for the second set in a row. They took set one, 25-18. And the undefeated Panthers continuing to play well, but Crestview. That one's knocked up off the, the roof and violently comes back down. I think you met credit Lacey McCoy with the kill there. With the assist to the roof. The, <laughs> the rafters, yeah. Nice pass. Here's Johnson a little bit behind her, had to adjust and a sigh of relief for her seeing that ball find the floor. What a nice job. She took a bad set and made a point out of it. Now she gets to go back and serve. 21-16, Parkway advantage. So Macy Johnson, senior. She gets that ball up into the air. Lacey McCoy met it. Now Gregory and Figley kills it. Embry Temple almost pancaked that one to keep it up, but not a whole lot of help there for the Lady Panthers. 21-17. Gabrie Gabrielle Stover just lost track of the ball there. She blocked it and she turned and she just missed it. There is gonna be a set her direction. Just to kind of knuckle that over. That diving try, Johnson couldn't get there. Smart play by crack Callie Gregory. Push that ball right back into the back corner. That short got, that court got really short on that end very fast. 21 18. Ankle meets the serve, and now Temple gets blocked. Set for Johnson. And it falls down in front for Crestview. Adeline Figley, the last to touch it for the Knights. And now Britton Bruns will retreat to serve. That back row attack, he usually hit it hard. And she just rolled that shot over there. And another timeout taken by Crestview. We will have one also. 22-18, late stages is set two on WOSN. Parkway, three off from a set two win. They're getting the first set. And they get one of the three they needed. Gabrielle Stover and let's see who it was, Emery Temple combined for a double block there back for a point. Bruns with a jump serve. Callie Gregory setting up. And a long shot for Figley. Callie Gregory's got a nice set of hands. She puts that ball up nice and soft for the hitters. And set point again for Parkway. Run serve is good. Gregory goes for Maya Etzler. Kind of had to scramble to get the ball over top of the net. Etzler swings again. Dug out by Johnson. Up for Niddle. Blocked up front. And there's Gregory with that little finesse. Parkway has to get it over the top. They do. Gregory back for Figley. Blocked. And that's the set. Parkway, just as they did in set one, they take set two, 25-18. We'll step out and be back with a decisive set number three. Can Crestview extend the match? We'll find out when we return on WOSN. Dueling 25-18 set wins for Parkway has them set up in a place that they would like to be through the first two. Crestview backed up against the wall here in the 
third set. As they, we begin play once more. Undefeated Parkway at 8-0. State ranked. Checking in at number six in this most recent Division III poll. And Klein with the opening serve of the third set for Crestview. Gabrielle Stober dug out after a block by Etzler and Gregory. And a leaping try by Meg Hankel couldn't quite get contact on the ball. And Crestview starts out on a positive note in set three. Good position by Meg Hankel there, but just a little better touch on the ball from the Crestview side. Ellie Klein serving. Now Hankel pushes it over. Nice play out of the net. Gregory to Figley and a big hit and score. I think we've mentioned those two quite a few times tonight, Garrett. Wearing their names out, which is A-OK. -okay. Ellie Klein's third straight serve, back row. Oh, just beyond the back line. Coach Hinkle had a great look at that for Parkway. And puts the ball in the hands of Britton Bruns. Her serve good for the Lady Panthers. Maya Etzler set up by Gregory. And another score for the Knights. Here's Adeline Figley to do the serve. A sophomore here at Crossview. Good. And Marie Niddle. Now she'll go and attack. Lacey McCoy with the dig. Now Etzler tipped by Bruns and another score for the Knights. They're starting to find some rhythm over there, John. I think Maya Etzler here took that ball down the line to get a good set from Callie Gregory. You know, when you get that good set, you can uh, pretty much pick your spot on the floor. There's Stober. Gabrielle Stober, that's one way to get the rhythm back for Parkway. Find number one, and she comes through. Just what we talked about, you get that good pass and the setter gets the ball close to the net, she can set all three positions if she wants. Maddie Jacobs in to serve. Lefty puts it in the air. Callie Gregory the set. And Maya Etzler. Another kill for the Knights. Bruton Burns played that, but I think maybe that was going a little out. But as a coach, I think I'd rather play the ball than uh, let it land in in the back row. So can't, can, um, can't uh, keep them from that, but that was a good play. Josie Kulwicki, sophomore to serve. Dug out by Meg Hinkle. Just tapped over top by Ellie Pritchard. Now here's Lacey McCoy. Good dig by Macy Johnson. Stober blocked by Crossview. Nice shot, deep corner. Lacey McCoy, another dig by Johnson. Good volley going back and forth. Off of Klein and a good save by Figley. And two hands that time. Touched by Haley McCoy. Extinguishes a great back and forth volley. Our Argo one might have to ice his elbow down like a pitcher does here tonight. Gregory, a little one-hand tap for Johnson. And McCoy has it go over top of the net. And it is off of Parkway. They go into the net. That's what the score is. It would have been out of bounds either way. So Crestview gets the score back. Macy Johnson made a nice play on that, a block, and then she took it right back and uh, just hit it out of bounds. But she followed through and got into the net. Vea Ross is served. And it causes some issues as they crept back away from the net. Couldn't find a way to send it on to the Crestview side. Coach Gregory was talking about mental toughness. I think uh, Crestview showing it right here. They're digging deep and coming back in the third set. Johnson with a bump. Gregory pushes it towards that back corner. Met by Stober. Pritchard with a big swing. And that time Crestview into the nylon. Haley McCoy off, along with Nevaeh Ross. Switch includes Ellie Klein coming in. And Emery Niddle serves. Gregory to Lacey McCoy. 
Off the wrist of Stober. Crestview doubling up Parkway in this third set. Parkway has not lost a set since their first match of the year. And that was against Adam Central from Indiana. So they haven't lost a set to a team in Ohio this year. Hard to think about that as Crestview continues the roll. Well, they are on a roll right now, Garrett. Getting good passing, good serving, good hitting. That's, that'll get you on a roll. Stober to Johnson. Deflected away, out of bounds, but not before a night hit that. Crestview, the defending Northwest Conference co-champions. Good to probably have these games on their schedule. You know, we talked about how tough their slate was to start the year. All the state-ranked teams that have shown up. It's only going to make you a better team yep. the harder the better competition you play. Parkway with another. And for Crestview, you know, you look at that tournament run and how much of a buzzsaw some of the districts this way can be, depending what max school is, is in it. You know, look at the last several years, tournament losses to Fort Recovery. Three years in a row falls to St. Henry, a perennial power every year. That's why Northwestern Ohio is basically a small school district, and yep. so you get a lot, a lot of good in all sports. A lot of good boys and girls. Lacey McCoy, ball in the air. Stober sets and dropped down by Johnson, held on top of the net and gives Crespi a chance to get underneath of it. Bigley's shot is blocked. Angle to Bruns. Gregory meets that. Here's Figley. Garrett, it's amazing. Brittany Bruns uh, is hitting outside here and listed at 5'7". Uh, she must have some hops because she's doing a good job of swinging at the ball. That's the good equalizer. AC Johnson, strong serve. Ellie Klein took care of it. And Maya Etzler with a big knock for Crestview. Wow. Move that ball off to the side, that's tough. That's a tough ball to pass up to get into your offense. Ellie Klein's serve is good for Crestview. Bruns with a back, backhand set to Stober. Woo. Put that ball on the floor right away. Now flatten that ball out. We've been so fortunate, John, to see a couple of really talented players in Northwest Ohio the last couple of times we've gotten together. This is no exception. No, each team has a couple of them. There we go, boy. How about that? That puts Bruns on her back. But Parkway sticks with it. Klein up for Crestview. Gregory to Etzler, tapped over top and dug out by Niddle. And that's Haley McCoy for Crestview. Then Klein and another oh. big hit in the middle. Gabrielle Stober, they, like they kind of forgot about her there, set her up and took advantage. 11-9. She's getting close to double digits in kills already, and she had 105 coming in. So uh, between her and Macy Johnson, they're uh, getting most of the points for Parkway. Here's Bruns. Gregory sets up Etzler, goes cross court, Doug, and look at that, and it's wide. Oh, man, Meg Hinkle with that strong dig, but the hard hit by Etzler forced that ball back on the Crestview side of the net. Etzler thought she had an easy one, just couldn't keep it inside the tape. And a timeout triggered. We'll step out as well, close in the third set from Crestview. Parkway. Making a charge here in the third set. Crestview built a, a nice lead, but that has dissipated. It's now 11-10 with the Knights up one. But, but Adeline Figley answers the call, and Crestview builds their lead back to 12-10. A lot of times, Garrett, these hitters hit from different positions on the floor until they get that ball back over the first time, and then they go to the outsides. Figley, sir, here's Bruns with the set for Stober. Blocked up front by McCoy and Etzler. Here's Etzler with a try. 
and too strong. Parkway will make some changes on the floor, getting Maddie Jacobs in for Emory Temple. Jacobs the lefty. It's amazing how the ball will come off different from a left-hander. And a little far there, out of bounds. Wise take by Ellie Klein. And Temple right back onto the floor. And then this is where we'll see Hinkle stay. Looks like yeah. we got the, uh, the substitution back in and then a Libro replacement yep. for her and get the Libro back on the floor. Meg Hinkle's a very good Libro. She's been passing the ball very well. Josie Kowicki serve, Stober. And unable to be handled by Crestview. You know, not to be outdone, I talked about uh, Meg Hinkle, but uh, let's see, Ellie Klein is doing a fine job for uh, Crestview also. Gregory for Lacey McCoy. Nice dig by Bruns, but it angles off to the right, giving Crestview a, a valuable point here in the third set. Crestview up against the wall, down two cents to none, but they lead it here, midway point of this sec, or this third set. 25-18 was the score in each of the first two, going Parkway's direction. And a long try from Macy Johnson. Boy, that was a close one, but the line judge was right on it. Nebea Ross with a short serve off to, the, to her right. Nice save by Hinkle on the third hit. Now Gregory's got to go, and she gets that one to drop. Went right at Bruns and Stober. And triggers a Parkway timeout, 16-12, sent three. We'll jump out here for a minute on WOSN. Crestview putting some pressure on Parkway in the third set, making the Panthers earn it here on the road. Stober sets up Johnson and just out. That might have been out in both directions, but not without effort for Lacey or for Macy Johnson going for that back corner. It's 17 12. Crestview with one of their biggest leads of the entire match. And a long serve goes out. Well, the old adage the ball doesn't lie. Not saying that that was out, but you know, Parkway, they didn't like it, they get it right back. Sometimes in sports, you have the opportunity to level things out. The volleyball gods will make yeah. things right. Here's the serve up front for Emery Niddle and almost dropped in. Ooh. Ellie Pritchard tapped it over, but got into the net for Parkway. I don't think Ellie Pritchard was really expecting that set right there and it caught her off guard and she was a little late getting to the ball. Callie Gregory serve. Stober sets up Johnson. That one's in there. Parkway continues to chip away. Johnson and Stober get swings. A lot of them. Now Meg Hinkle back to serve. The junior successfully gets that to the Crestview end of the floor. Now Stober with a set for Johnson, blocked up front by Lacey McCoy. Macy was early on that, and she didn't get a real good swing at it, and she tried to dunk it oh. over. Oh, they're going to put, they're going to give this back to Parkway. Might have had McCoy over top of the net. I think she was into the net, Garrett, but uh, that was called wow. by our R1. Came in late, too. Two. So the, the rally continues for Parkway. Down three in the third. Hankel serve. It's strong. Bigley kept it up. She'll push it over. Pass to Stober for Johnson. Dug by Gregory. Back to Gregory to send it over the top. Johnson slams it over. Gregory to Figley. 
blocked. Stober. Look at this back and forth. Lacey McCoy trying to go near side. Not a whole lot of room over there, and it's out. It's amazing, Garrett, when uh, the setter plays the first ball, they always seem to try to bump it up so the libero is now then your uh, good setter. Bag Hinkle will continue to serve. Gregory to McCoy. She wanted that one back. It's a good palate cleanser right there for McCoy. A couple of, <laughs> you know, maybe a couple of missteps, misplays, and just get it back and get the frustration out. She took the frustration yep. out there. I wasn't in the net. Cleaned out the carbon. There we go. 1916. Gregory with a good serve. Johnson pats it up over. Here comes Gregory to Adeline Figley, and she fires it way long. Parkway in the net. How about it? Bailed him out. Macy Johnson ended up being in the net on that time, so uh, ball, ball stays with Crestview. Knights the first to 20 for the first time tonight. Lacey McCoy serve. Hinkle goes right over the top. And Maya Etzler slams it down. And Parkway forced to take a timeout. We'll step out also 21-16. Knights with a late lead in set three. Hello again from Crestview. Lady Knights try to put the finishing touches on a set three victory. But Parkway with other thoughts. There we go. The timing was better now. Lacey, uh, or I mean, uh, Macy Johnson got up on top of that ball there. Oh, the senior with the serve. And off of Lacey McCoy, but Ellie Klein recovers. Third hit over for Kelly Gregory. There goes Stober. Dug out by Klein. Good play. Figley with a big hit. Stober to Temple, blocked, but the Panthers keep it up. Temple knocks it over top. Gregory to Etzler, and tips off of Parkway. It's still up there, diving try, out of reach. 22-17, Crestview inching a little closer. It's gonna take one heck of a rally for Parkway. And not out of the realm of possibility. Here's Ellie Klein with the serve. And Parkway's going to get one. Kind of a broken play turned into something. Over on two, work for a change. Parkway with a two cent to none advantage. But Crossview leading the third. Cross court try for Figley. Bumped up by Stober from her knees, really. How about this for Bruns diving try, and Johnson sends it over. Now Etzler, nobody there in the middle. Big time slam for the Lady Knights. That was a great effort on the Parkway Panthers side there. A lot of people getting down on the floor and getting that ball up and keeping it alive. Puts Crestview within two of clinching the third set. Emery Niddle Beats the serve, and Stober, her big hit. She gets a block there. And now Gregory. This is for Niddle. And we got a whistle against Crestview. They must have hit it twice. Parkway not just done yet. Maddie Jacobs to serve as she subs in. There's a tip. Gregory finds it. Big time score for Callie Gregory. Front row player did a power dump on that ball. 
We had Chelsea Kowicki in to serve for Crestview and set point for the Knights to take their first. Break a long set winning streak for Parkway. Blocked, still up, and it goes down, and Crestview takes set number three. We've got a match, 25-19 after three sets here at Crestview. We'll come back for set four after this break on WOSN. Welcome to the fourth set between Parkway and Crestview. 25-18, set one and set two went to the Panthers. Wearing the black uniforms tonight. Crestview in the red. They took the third set, 25-19. Not quite done here in the beginning of, the, of this fourth. And goes out of bounds off of Parkway, giving Crestview again another early score. I believe three out of the four, they have taken the first point of the, of the set. Big hitter, Emery Temple. Wow, another freshman steps up big for the Panthers. Kind of been quiet today. That was a big slam to get our attention. Now here's Crestview on the attack. Adeline Figley. And that falls down in front of Klein and Etzler. Garrett, I'm really impressed with Emily, Ellie Klein there. She's passing the ball mm -hmm. sometimes in a three, sometimes in a two-person serve receive and doing a great job. Adeline Figley gets the rally back for Crestview. Yeah, Klein's really had to dig a lot of powerful strikes out by these Parkway hitters. Tall task tonight. Pass that time, uh, goes to Bruns, and it's hit by Stober, but blocked out of bounds by Crestview. Got credit for a kill on that one. Maddie Jacobs in to serve for the Panthers. Lefty comes near side. And ball in the air for Parkway. Gregory sets up Etzler. And the junior here at Crestview gets another score. And we'll check out with the rotation coming around. Josie Colwicki will take her spot and rotate to the service position. Eight and oh Parkway. Crestview in with two wins of their six matches played this year. But a tremendous competitive and competitive schedule early on for Crestview. Might not be a, a sterling mark early, but they've been battle tested. And Parkway sure, another member to that list. It sure is showing here now. They're playing well. Lacey McCoy with another one for Crestview. Brings another service substitution in for Nevaeh Ross. A serve in the air. Lacey Johnson pats that over the top and it falls in the middle. Kennedy Kreider the last to touch it for Crestview. But get another change in the night lineup. Haley McCoy back onto the floor and then rotated out with Ellie Klein. And a service into the net for Emery Niddle. Seems like they're trading points now. Somebody has to step up and get a good run going. Five apiece to start the fourth set. Callie Gregory with the serve there. Lacey Johnson drops it in, and Lacey McCoy just kind of sent it right back her way. Blocked her attack, and Johnson a miss hit, but Parkway bailed out. 
Two-handed pass for Klein to Figley, and it hits the antenna, gonna go out of bounds on Crestview. Parkway will get the advantage after that. Good eyes on the line judge on that side to see the sticks move. AC McCoy tries to go that way again and hit out of bounds. Parkway on a little run right here of their own. Mag Hinkle with the serve and it's short. Back and forth, we continue to go. Okay, now uh, Crestview's lining themselves up good. They got Maya Etzler back in the front row here. And an ace for Lacey McCoy. Strong serve. So she'll drop back once more. The senior, first team of the Northwest Conference last volleyball season. Little set for Johnson and behind her. Now Parkway. Behind by a point, Crestview giving them everything they can have. Stober has to get on the floor to keep that volleyball in the air. Gregory all into uh, Etzler, she's blocked. Here's Klein sending it over the top. They see Johnson. Deflected out by Crestview. Parkway receives the volley again. Boy, this is a great match. Both teams swinging hard at the ball. Passing the ball pretty good. Getting the ball up to their hitters and taking full swings. It's Macy Johnson to serve. Line drive and hit by Lacey McCoy and a tough pass by Emory Temple. I what? think on that time, uh, Garrett, she uh, thought she was going to hit the ball, and the ball was just a little bit overhead, and she tried to pop it up then and just couldn't get it going. Good Ellie Klein serve, tapped out of bounds by Britton Bruns. Back-to-back -back possessions that Crestview was able to find freshmen off of the serve. Seeing what they're made of here. Parkway got to get back into running their offense. Klein, the sophomore, sends the serve up. There we go. Stober goes right back to work. Pass set attack point. Runs to serve for Parkway. Taps it in the direction of Klein. Back pass for Gregory to Figley, and it gets blocked into the face of Maya Etzler. Crestview can't handle that. Ball comes back faster than uh, they put it over. Back to 10-10. Klein, Gregory, Figley. Time middle, last to touch it for Parkway and Crestview crumbles. Just roll that ball over off a set of hands. Gets down close where they can't get it off the floor. Parkway in. In front, Etzler. That'll be good for a Crestview point. She got that ball in between the blockers and had it fall on the Panthers' side of the floor. Good point for Crestview. 11 all. Parkway. Tinkle that got that serve and hit too long for Temple. How'd they say that in major leagues? Just a little yeah. long. Here's Stober. And Callie Gregory, she's had success with that play tonight. And a long attempt for Macy Johnson. Parkway seems to be getting a little tentative on their swings tonight. We're right now in this fourth set. 13-11, Crestview with an advantage here in the fourth. Stober blocked 
Haley McCoy and Callie Gregory team up. That's one way to make a wall for Gabrielle Stober trying to send it down for Parkway. Serve up for the Panthers. And converted by Niddle. Brings it around to Maddie Jacobs' turn in the, in the lineup. Comes in as that service spot opens up. Left-handed serve goes to Lacey McCoy. Maya Etzler dug by Johnson. Back to Niddle. And Crestview answers it. Long try for Etzler. This one's been as advertised, John. She just got a little ahead of the ball there, uh, Garrett, and hit it just a little long, but still a nice swing. Etzler, nice dig for Bruns. Klein and McCoy were there in the back for Crestview. Here goes Etzler again, and it goes out the back. Now we're all square once more at 14. Klein receives. Gregory sets up Etzler. And tapped by Johnson. She'll send it over for the Panthers. Now they, they got to scramble a little. But the volley goes back and forth. Maya Etzler. And that was a little tough for that try. Hit off the uh, outside antenna out there, Garrett, so it didn't matter what happened down that. And Parkway with the lead in this fourth set. Jacobs, another serve. Gregory goes, sets backward that time to that, Figley, and she converts. That play all started with uh, Ellie Klein getting that ball up there. Great job, Ellie. Josie Kowicki into the contest to serve. Johnson meets. Britton Bruns sets up Gabrielle Stober. And kind of on point. Boy, it's nice to be able to jump that high and hang in the air like that. Yep. One point advantage for Parkway serving. Callie Gregory and Panthers on the floor to keep that ball in the air, and they do so. Haley McCoy, her shot was almost out of bounds for Crestview. And oh. Panthers keep it up, and that makes way for Macy Johnson. Another big kill for the Panthers, and a timeout taken here late in the fourth set as Parkway starting to find some rhythm, trying to finish off Crestview, but the Lady Knights, an impressive third and fourth set to this point. We'll step out for a minute, come back with more action between the Panthers and Knights on WOSN. Back at Crestview. And there is Parkway picking up a point, but a late touch call. Swings it back to Crestview. And in games like this that are so tight, those are important, but it's all about how you respond because that wasn't the end of the set. Another serve for Nevea Ross. Johnson, look at that diving dig for Figley. And Johnson finds an open spot on that right sideline and scores it for Parkway, got the point right back. Macy Johnson's IQ just had her moving the ball all over the floor and just where Crestview wasn't. We're getting close to that 20 point threshold so far tonight. Every team that has gotten there first has won the set. Lacey McCoy has that one go underneath the net. Or did it go over the top? I guess it went over the top. Uh, neither official uh, blew their whistle. Maybe it was an illusion there with the power of 
McCoy getting that over just over the top and bending it back. One point either way. The setup for Adeline Figley and too strong on the attack. Double block was there for Parkway, but uh, Miss Figley just hit it a little high. Tried to get off the high hands, but just hit it over the top and out of bounds. 19-17, Parkway up in this fourth set. Bigley, the third hit over for Crestview. And a big swing and a score for the Panthers. Boy, Macy Johnson moves that ball all over the floor when she hits the ball. And a timeout taken at 20 to 17. We'll get out as well. We'll be back with more on WOSN. Parkway with a three-score lead in the fourth set. Leading two sets to one, 25-18 in the first and second. Crestview responded by winning set three, 25-19, the fourth the fourth. Parkway has come alive here. Last couple of points. And continue the rally with another score up front. I think Gabrielle Stover and Macy Johnson have uh, worked together quite a few times. They tag team there for the 21st point of the fourth set for Parkway. In the direction of Adeline Figley, she's gets set up by Callie Gregory, blocked by Johnson, another score. The you know, Stober kind of took those early sets over, and now it is Johnson that's settling in and making things happen for Parkway in so many other ways. That is a... Violent one-two punch to try to solve. Stover digs there. Callie Gregory sets up Lacey McCoy and finds a spot in that back corner. Crestview with a big one here as they try to fend off Parkway in this fourth set. They need to really get on a run. Lacey McCoy, senior back to serve. Parkway just dumped the ball over there and part Crestview made him uh, pay for it. And it served right in the net. Could be some of that last gasp falling out from Crestview. Some of the air just comes out of the gym. A big opportunity for Crestview's lone senior. And they played hard tonight. They have really impressed against one of the best teams in the area. And at the end of the whole state as the, the poll suggests. See what they got to respond with. And a diving try, Hinkle keeps it up and a couple of big ones, Temple and Hinkle. And there, the response for Crestview, big time kill for Adeline Figley. And sometimes when you see those plays made on the one side of the floor, the defensive end, it's like, okay, now, now what do you gotta do to find it? And Crestview is able to respond well. That was a great play right there. Gabrielle Stober goes near the back edge and sets up match point for Parkway. That backslide coming off of there is hard to defend. She's been hitting out of the middle all night and then she goes behind the setter. In the air it goes. Callie Gregory sets up Figley. Off the roof and pancaked, but it falls down. I think that would have been a double contact anyway. She played the ball the first time true, up off of true. the roof. So 24-20. Crestview with the serve. Back to Adeline Figley. Still match point for Parkway. And it's deflected away. Emery Niddle. Never say die attitude yep. by the Knights. Just a couple of more and they can force an extended set. Adeline Figley gave her the Knights some hope here. Good serve. Niddle digs that one out that time. Stober going for the win, but a great job by Klein. Keep it alive. Here's Johnson. Good dig by Figley. Gregory to Etzler. Down for the Knights. And we play on. Both teams defensively playing great there on that rally. Got it up. Ended up. Uh, the Knights could put it on the floor first. Set four coming down to the wire. 
Crestview playing to keep this game going, but Parkway can end it with one score. Here's Callie Gregory to Maya Etzler, tipped back to the back row. Bruns to Stober, that'll do it. Gabrielle Stober has been the centerpiece for Parkway along with Macy Johnson all night. One of the two were bound to find the ball when it mattered the most. And Parkway closes out a four set win. At 25-22, John Dornick, a great match. Parkway showed why they have gotten the respect around the state, but Crestview certainly showing that they belong in the conversation. I think Crestview uh, did just what their coach wanted them to do, show some mental toughness here and come out and keep fighting no matter what the score was, and they did that. And After losing the first two sets, they still came back and took that third one. Drove uh, Parkway to a fourth set and uh, played well in the fourth set. Just Parkway just got a few more of the bounces in uh, that way and they won the three to one. That'll be it for Parkway. They improved to nine and oh and Crestview falls to two and five. We'll wrap this one up when we come back. Parkway a winner this evening on WOSN. Welcome back to Crestview as we catch up with the Parkway Panthers coming away with a four-cent win here tonight. We're going to get head coach, head coach Jason, or Jordan Hinkle, excuse me, Jordan, uh, with his thoughts here and also joined by Macy Johnson and Gabrielle, uh, Gabrielle Stober here at the close of the game. Yo, know, coach, 9-0 start of the year. Got to feel good to come out here, get a win against a good Crestview team. Yeah, it's always good to come in to Crestview and get a win and this would be 9-0 to start the season. He can't ask for anything much better. And we've had a couple girls in and out of the lineup from injuries and illness and things. And they just keep working hard. And whoever's on the court, they're playing together and they're grinding out wins and putting it together when we need to. And Gabrielle got the winning kill here tonight, right in the middle of the action. Talk about playing your the back row, kind of setting and attacking all at one tonight. Yeah, you know, it's great. We have great passers in the back row, Macy back there. And I think we just work really well as a team as adapting, no matter who comes in the front row, who comes in the back row, we're good at adapting to that. Macy, you were huge in that third and that fourth set after Crestview had some momentum. Talk about just finding the ball time after time. Yeah, I think it's um, tough sometimes because our lineups have been different. We've kind of been throwing around and I think it's good to be able to have good teammates to rely on each other. And it's just, it's a really good, it's really fun out there having a family. And now, looking ahead, Coach, you, you have a, a good test with Versailles coming up. That MAC is always so tough. You guys are undefeated. you got to be feeling good and have a lot of confidence. Yeah, we're 2-0 and in the MAC, and every night in that is a battle, a lot of physical volleyball, and they're ranked number three in the state. We're ranked number four, so our goal is to go in and knock them off. And we have Wapak tomorrow, and that's a huge match, too. They have a great outside hitter, and we know we're going to come ready to go tomorrow to start. So, All right. And Gabrielle, looking forward, what's, what's some of the more exciting things you're looking for the rest of the way? Um, I would definitely say the MAC is very exciting, and it's always nice coming out every night and having a competitive game. So as a team, I think we're ready to take on that challenge. And Macy, what about the challenges each and every night, every time you have a conference game? Um, yeah, I think that it just comes down to what we want to accomplish as a team. I think we need to believe, we believe in each other, and I think that that's really big for us. Macy, Gabrielle, and Jordan, thank you very much for your time. Congrats on another big win for Parkway. Thank you. All, right. All right, let's wrap things up here from Crestview tonight. We're going to thank our crew tonight with Lexi Waddle, Megan Sherrick, John Dornick. I'm Garrett Mansfield. And, of course, thank you to all of you for making high school volleyball possible here on WOSN. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.